Meet Terry Savage, nationally recognized personal finance expert, television commentator, syndicated columnist, best-selling author, and motivational speaker on the subject of money. Terry's latest book is The Savage Number, How Much Money Do You Need to Retire? It hit the Amazon.com Top 20 list within days of its publication, joining her previous books on the bestseller lists around the country. The business world trusts Terry. She's frequently asked to moderate corporate or association meetings and discussions, something Terry does with professional flair and enthusiasm. There's no money writing on this. It's just your whole reputation. Yeah, but you won't invite me back if I, I get it wrong. We want you back, especially if you get it wrong. You'll have to explain. As a sought-after speaker, Terry has delivered hundreds of presentations for the most respected companies in the country. Terry's speeches include a variety of topics ranging from college savings to retirement planning, from the stock market and mutual funds to interest rates and long-term care insurance. The biggest risk in growing old is growing old, but it's far better than the alternative. Now, we don't like to think about this, either for ourselves or our parents. You see your parents still playing golf or still doing the activities they like very much. But the fact is that we'd all like to age just as we are today, live that much longer, and be able to do all the things we can do today. That's not necessarily the case. And it can be very expensive if you haven't planned for it. It's a particularly a woman's issue. People think, I, who needs long-term care? You think of very old people and you don't know any because your parents, fortunately, are so very young and so are mine. Who needed long-term care the most that we know? Superman. Think about it. I haven't seen Michael J. Fox. I keep looking for him to appear somewhere. He's been battling Parkinson's now for over a decade. This is our musketeer. That's Annette Funicello. If you think Britney Spears is your musketeer, you could skip this part. <laughs> Annette Funicello is our musketeer, and she unfortunately has had MS and been in a wheelchair for years. That's our generation, okay, who needs long-term care. And then I put this up, of course. Just because it's a very, the picture of President Reagan is a very vivid example of what the long-term cost, if someone has Alzheimer's, what the cost of care can be, because that drags out over a typically much longer period of time. That's what long-term care insurance is all about. Making yourself impoverished is not the answer, aside from the question of whether it's moral to shift the burden of your care or your parents' care onto the taxpayers. That's not the care you want. She talks about current issues making national headlines, and she's a whiz at taking questions from the crowd. Terry's presentations are tailored to each audience talking about your company's benefit plans or your group's specific needs and interests. Keep some chicken money on the side. There's an old stock market saying, sell down to the sleeping point. Doesn't mean panic. It means to do what feels appropriate. You know yourself better, and you care more about your money than anyone else. Make a plan and stick to the plan and invest so your goals don't just become dreams, so that you reach those goals. And finally, most important of all, maintain control. Beware of averages. Why? Because real life is never average. Now, I've given you a lot of averages about the stock market, but here's the danger. I think it says it best in this cartoon from a great economist and a statistician. Dr. Sam Savage, no relation. He shows the story of the guy who drowned in the river with an average depth of three feet. Yeah, it was six inches deep at the banks and eight feet deep in the center. Beware of averages. You're all planning for retirement. I said you're going to get to that moment where this is it, this is what I've got, and if you're lucky you'll have a pension check and a Social Security check, but a hunk of money, and you'll be wondering how do I invest it and how much can I withdraw? Let me tell you the story of Sam. This is a, an old story. Back in 1969, Sam retired at the age of 65. He went to a very good financial planner, and the planner said, Sam, we're going to be very conservative with your money. We're going to put 60% in stocks and not, you know, speculative stocks, blue chips. And we're going to put 30% in bonds 
not junk bonds. We're going to be in good AA and AAA rated corporates, and we're going to put 10% in what Terry Savage calls chicken money. Money market. We'll be conservative. And the planner said, Sam, over the next 30 years, based on historic averages, the kind of charts I just showed you, Sam, I think that your return will be somewhere between 10 and 12%. Now, that was in 69. We can go back and look back. What happened to that portfolio between 1969 and 99? And in fact, the average annual return was 11.7%. That was terrific. And back in 69, the planner said, Sam, here's what we're going to let you do. Based on my forecast of these averages being between 10 and 12%, we're going to let you take out 8.5% of your money every year. And at that average return, Sam, you won't run out of money for 30 years. Sam, you're 65 now. By then, you'll be 95. If you make it to 95, you won't even know you ran out of money. <laughs> Sam said, that's what I'm going to do. And so we started withdrawing. But remember I said back in 1973-74, there was a terrible stock market, bear market. The Dow went from over 1,000 to below 600. In fact, the Dow stayed below 800 until 1982, for a decade. And what happened to Sam? As he started withdrawing during those years when the market was down, he ran out of money in 1981, before the bull market that took us so high on the Dow ever even got started. That's the danger of averages when you're dealing with withdrawals. 